Welcome to this question from the Leaving Search Higher Level course on Arithmetic Series. This is the third example video that I have made. Given that the sum to n is equal to n squared minus 4n, find an expression for term n. So term n equals what? And hence determine if it's arithmetic. Well, compared with the sum, if we summed up to n and took away the sum of n minus 1, this would give us term n. So this is the important insight to have in this question. So let's work out this. Sum n minus sum n minus 1. Well, sum n is what's given in the formula, n squared minus 4n. And from this, we're going to take away when we put in n minus 1 instead of n. So it's n minus 1 squared minus 4 times n minus 1. So let's just neaten this up. So we still have term n has to change n squared minus 4n. When we expand the binomial n minus 1 to be squared, it gives us n squared minus 2n plus 1. Minus 4 by n is minus 4n, and minus 4 by minus 1 is plus 4. You can just neaten this up. That's n squared minus 4n still. I'm just going to uh, take 2n minus 4n, which is minus 6n, and plus 1 plus 4 is 5. Now this time I'm just going to change the sign of the second part and multiply in this minus sign. So it's minus n squared plus 6n minus 5. Now we see we have an n squared and a minus n squared, and we have 6n take 4n. That gives us 2n and we have minus 5. So that's what term n is, 2n minus 5. Now I'm just going to highlight that because that's the important answer in the first part. So the next question is, is this series, sequence arithmetic? So is it arithmetic? Now how would we check that? Well, one simple test we could do is we could just work out what term 1 is. That would be 2 times 1 minus 5, which is 2 minus 5, which is minus 3. Term 2 would be 2 twos minus 5, that's 4 minus 5 minus 1. Term 3 would be 2 times 3 minus 5, that's 6 minus 5, which is equal to 1. Now, even looking at these first three terms of the sequence, we can see a pattern is emerging that there seems to be a common difference each time that we're making a jump of plus 2. So if it has a common difference, well then yes, it is arithmetic. At least we've proven that for the first three terms. A more formal proof of this would be to prove it for every term. Um, so we're really asking ourselves, is term n plus 1 take away term n always going to give us a constant? Or a common difference. So if we get an answer to term n plus 1 minus term n, that is just a number answer, an answer that doesn't determine, isn't dependent on n, a constant, well then we know it is arithmetic. So term n plus 1 is 2 times n plus 1 minus 5, and from this we're going to take away term n, which is 2n minus 5, and multiplying this out we have 2n plus 2 minus 5 and we're going to take away 2n and minus minus 5 is plus 5 and here we see we have a 2n minus 2n and a minus 5 plus 5 leaving us with just 2 so we see that yes there is a common difference always a constant so yes it is arithmetic and that would be a more formal way of proving Thank you for watching.